Hi, my name is Martin Hudag and welcome to Dina and Nancy on 22. Today I would like to show you a very simple twist on a classic Irish coffee which you can make by utilizing Flavor Blaster. Let's do it. What you will need is some sort of filter coffee. Ideally, it's a pour-over coffee brewed by alternative method. I really like coffees with more natural, sweet, fruity flavors. So something like naturally processed Panamian, Costa Rican, or Brazilian coffees. Once you have your coffee brewed as fresh as possible, we're gonna add sugar to combine those flavors together. Ideally, we need about 100 to 130 ml of freshly brewed coffee, combined with 20 ml of your sugar syrup. Here I'm using a dark Muscovado sugar syrup in ratio two to one, two parts of sugar, one part of water. Of course, the start of the show is actual whiskey, that's why it's called Irish coffee. Today we're using Irish whiskey Jameson and we're gonna add 30 ml. Now all these ingredients are combined with a coffee, but the trick I wanna do here is applying a little bit of smoke. Today I'm using a smoky aroma, which I'm gonna add inside of the coffee, sugar and whiskey and cover it. I let it infuse for a couple of seconds, and this is your opportunity to bring the serve to the guests in front of them and show them how Irish coffee can be done differently. So use your favorite tray where you put your glass, your actual drink, and then of course you have to bring some cream. Now this serve you bring in front of the guest, you stir combination of sugar, whiskey, coffee, and a smoky aroma together, you open it, pour it inside a glass, and then we're gonna layer little cream on top of your Irish coffee. Layer it gently, because you wanna make sure that the cream and coffee is separated and that people drinking this cocktail through the cold cream where they're gonna get beautiful combination of hot coffee, whiskey, sugar, and a little bit of smokiness. Here we are. This is my smoked Irish coffee. Enjoy.